Liner to right, and that will get two runners home to give the Astros the lead. Gomez into second, and still going to third as the ball is mishandled in the right field corner. The Astros lead three to two. The ball got hung up, and he's going to come on in, but the right fielder is indicating that ball is launched at the base of the padding there, as you see. So that should be ruled two bases. But last week when the Astros were playing the Mets the ball was not lodged and it wound up being an inside the park home. That's a nice short stroke Ash. That's gorgeous on a pitch up and away and shoots it that way. The Astros bats have been quiet but suddenly waking up. Great to see for Carlos. Yeah, just because the ball's under the pad doesn't deem it uh, or leave it deemed unplayable but if it wedges then you've got it. Here's a question for you. Thrill me. He reached in and touched the baseball. Yeah, that's good. I don't think you're supposed to get a two base call if the outfielder does that. Are you? So th what that leads me to ask is can you review that kind of a scenario? Oh, good point. Strike to Tyler White. Don't know the answer to that. But I've always been told the outfielder should put his arms out. And not try to reach in and touch the baseball. Once he does that, he won't get the call. Of course, that's a uh, that's really a close call. Watching that ball roll under the pad, was it wedged? Right here, watch. Is it wedged? No. And therefore, by rule, you have to go get it. As you so. see that ball rolling along, now that's really tough. Yeah. So if that ball's rolling, the umpires should call it a, a ball in play, right? I think so, but New and Heis. Indicated that, well, you saw him try to reach it. He touched it. I think at that point, all bets are off and the ball's in play. Right? I, I would agree, but I would also say that he or George Springer over the course of the year is going to be forced to go get that ball because it's rolling along. True. 